hi friends today we are going to learn another one important question frequently asked in the board exam in each and every year you can see this the question from this portion that we learn today we are going to learn today already set in your question paper 2024 for board exam for this year each and every year this is very important for one marks and two marks also in the last class in the last video we learn the emf and the electric current also the electromagnetic induction very important for us and also today we are going to learn another one important term that is called the resistance that is called the resistance what is this what is resistance practically here we learn the resistance only in case of the metallic conductor only in case of the metallic conductor all the metallic conductors cannot allow the electric charge in the same manner some of them are very good conductor like silver like aluminium and some of them are the conductors but not so as like silver like the copper wire it can also conduct electricity and we use in huge range the copper wire as a conducting wire in the domestic purposes domestic electric circuit but in some cases also if we see that for the transmission of the electric current to so long distance we see the silver color wire that is the aluminium wire because the electrical conductivity is very high for this and some other causes also but why the different substance can conduct electric charges different in amount this is because there is an opposition that opposes the motion of the free electron through the material this hindrance for the different materials are different that is not same for the all materials so this hindrance that opposes the motion of the free electron is called physically the resistance that is the electrical resistance if the motion of the free electron is resisted that means the hindrance that opposes the motion of the free electron through a conductor this is called resistance so resistance that is the hindrance that is a hindrance that opposes opposes motion of free electron motion of free electrons that is the resistance but mathematically this can be defined as if the resistance is denoted by the r resistance is denoted by r then this is equal the potential difference potential difference that is denoted by capital v and the electric current their ratio divided by electric current i that can be defined this relation is established from another one important part of it that is the ohms law that is called ohms law from this resistance r equal potential difference by electric current let us consider this is the wire and this is the terminal a and the terminal b the electric potential this is va this is the at vb electric current flows through the resistance r the i is the electric current then we can write this the va minus vb if this is denoted by capital v then resistance equal r by r equal v by i okay so this is the resistance but this resistance this is not important for your madhyamik exam or board exam cbse and icse next part is very important next part is very important 
as it is a physical quantity so how can we define how come what will be the units of it the units of it unit unit of physical unit of the resistance that is the potential difference unit of potential difference divided by unit of electric current in si this will be in si unit this will be potential difference that is volt divided by ampere volt divided by ampere this is called oho according to the name of the scientist and there is a standard symbol for this that is the oho similarly in cgs what happen there will be also a particular unit in cgs that is stat volt stat volt that we learn in the previous video the relation between volt and stat volt and the stat ampere this is stat ampere this is also stat ohm this will be also stat ohm stat ohm so this relation is very important for the mcq or mcq or one marks question in your board exam volt by ampere how can you define this one ohm if one volt potential difference is maintained across the two end of the conductor and electric current i that is one ampere flows to the conductor then the resistance offered by the conductor is said to be one ohm very simply if we say that one ohm is the resistance offered by a conductor having potential difference one volt when one ampere electric current passes through it that means the resistance will be one ohm so one ohm is very simple very simple one ohm equal one volt by one ampere this is one ohm according to the name of the scientist one ohm equal one volt divided by one ampere okay next another one important question does the resistance offered by all the materials are same no that's why different material can conduct different amount of electric current if the resistance is high the electric current will be less because the hindrance is very high if the resistance is low resistance offered by the material is low so electric current can easily flow electric current as well as the free electron can easily move so the electrical conductivity will be very high so there will be a relation that is they are inversely related if resistivity increases then thar electrical conductivity decreases if resistivity decreases electrical conductivity increases but there are some factors on which the resistance offered by a metallic wire depends what are these and what are the applications of it factors factors on which factors on which resistance offered by a conductor depend resistance offered by a conductor depend offered by a conductor offered by a conductor depend what are these very frequently asked question in your board exam depends okay these are number 1 number 1 the length of the conductor length length of the conductor denoted by l and number 2 number 2 the area of cross section the area of cross section area of cross section that is denoted by capital a later we will learn how to measure the area of cross section of the wire and number 3 number 3 the nature of the material the nature nature of the material nature of the material and number 4 very important for the resistance offered by a conductor that is the temperature that is the temperature that is denoted by let this is be small t is the temperature okay this length to which the resistance is directly proportional this is directly proportional directly proportional for area cross section this is inversely proportional this is inversely proportional this is inversely proportional and for temperature 
this is directly proportional this is directly proportional okay so these are the relation and the factors also some other factors are here like the electrical uh, the pressure the light the magnetic field etc also there are these are the different physical factors which can affect the resistance offered by the conductor very little later we learn and also in the next video we learn how does the length and area of cross section when changes resistance vary and the numerical associated numerical that are frequently asked in the board exam either ratio is given or the relation between the length of the wire is given this is very common for the board exam today up to this later in the next video we will learn again the another part of it